people. It's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, I'm on my way to Plant City, Florida right now. I'm gonna go cover the, uh, one of the shows here in South, uh, not in South Florida, definitely not South Florida, but you know, Tampa area, Plant City, Pro Box Promotions, Pistol Pete Dobson. We're gonna go cover that this week weekend. Um, so it should be a lot of fun, but I wanted to talk about some stuff happening in the middleweight division, you know, there's been a lot of complaints for me about the middleweight division for a long, long time because a lot of these guys don't want to fight each other. Nobody in the top sevens fought one another. It's been just nothing short of a glorified shit show. It's been it's, it's been horrible. Uh, what's what's going on in the middleweight division? And I've always said this. I've always said when 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 Demetrius Andrade moves from 160 to 168, you're you're gonna start to see a lot of movement within the division. And it's already started. It's already started. You know. Um, for those that have been really following the middleweight division very closely, you, you may remember when Andre worked out worked out a deal with, with the WBO to fight Zach Parker. Uh, it was initially stated that Johnny Beck Alam Coley, the, the the mandatory challenger for Andre in the WBO, was going to fight in a WBO interim title fight against none other than Esquivio Facal. Well, now at the eleventh hour, Facal is no longer in place, and now it looks like um, Johnny Beck will be fighting Munguia. So. You know, it's kind of weird. It kind of makes me feel like something funny may happen, but you know, that's that's what's happening now. You're gonna have one fighter in Munguia promoted by Zen Effort Promotions, um, fighting another fighter from top rank in, 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 in Johnny Beck. So as far as the fight's concerned, like if it come if it actually comes off and it happens, I think this is just what the doctor ordered for Munguia's career. You know, obviously it would have been great if Munguia and Golden Boy and Zen Effort Promotions would have shown the urgency to fight Demetrius Andre, but they don't want that fight. They don't believe in their man's skills against that particular style. So, th th they might be fighting Johnny Beck, who I don't think is as good as Andre, but he's still very dangerous, and he's very uh, he's, he's very much going to be in this fight if it happens, you know. Uh, Johnny Beck's coming with a lot, bringing a lot to the table, bringing, bringing a great amateur background, bringing a great uh, blend of, of, of skills and power and physical strength. And I just feel like, you know, Munguia has improved Eric Morales. He has... Uh, you know, developed. He's no longer the same Munguia that fought Dennis Hogan and, and, and that fought on 154. He's he's, be, he's a better fighter now. You can't you can't take that away from him. No matter how upset you are with him not fighting certain fighters, he has improved. But this is the kind of fight where, you know, defensively, if Munguia isn't is, isn't on his p's and q's, if he isn't sharp, if he isn't sound, you don't want to take too many Johnny Beck Alam Coley straight left hands or or, or or anything like that because that will that will take you to some deep dark uncomfortable places and, and get you hurt so you know um i think it's a great test to see just where monkey is at fighting a guy like johnny beck who is a dangerous strong uh physical uh a southpaw fighter who can crack and knows his way around that boxing ring you know and, and listen this is great for johnny beck because whether it's been andre whether it's been Fakao, whether it's been monkey whether it's been anybody at 60 160 he's been adamant all these guys at 160 are easy work for me and, he, and he's been running his mouth on Twitter. So now it's time to turn those Twitter fingers into trigger fingers and start pulling the trigger, you know, metaphorically speaking, in the ring with um, Jaime Munguia, you know. And and, 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 that, and listen, that'll be a dangerous proposition if it happens because, you know, Munguia loves a firefight. Munguia loves kind of, the kind of fighters that, that go in there and, 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 and give him a fight where... Uh, he's gonna be able, be able to let his hands go. He don't like the guys that move. He don't like the guys that can counter punch and got any power behind him, he, power behind it. He don't like the guys that can adapt. So you know, this is the this is the kind of fight for. I think both fighters that they both need. It's Johnny Beck's chance to, to to show himself to the world that he is creme de la creme, that he is world level, that he is world championship caliber, and it's Munguia's chance to show the world that hey, I'm not this protected hype job that you guys think I am. I'm a, I, I got something about me, and I'm gonna show you guys what I can do. So you know, it's not official yet. They got to still negotiate, but, you know, they're going to fight for the interim title in the WBO. I hope it happens because I love I love the matchup. It's not the matchup I wanted with Munguia and Andrade. But, uh, you know, it's, it's it's probably one of the best fights that can happen in the middleweight division that, uh, between fighters that aren't champions. There, there's not many fights from Munguia I would have liked more than Johnny Beck. Um, so, no complaints if it comes off. Uh, what I can say is, uh, well, actually, no, I'm, I'm done. I get my thoughts. We'll pass it over to Pops while he's driving. Pops, what do you think about McGee versus uh, Johnny Beck? I think that'd be a great fight for uh, Johnny Beck. For McGee, he's had all the opportunity in the world to uh, fight other contenders that are 
than the ones he's been fighting. And um, I think it's time for him to step up. And if he's not going to step up, shut up. And let uh, What's his name? Johnny Beck. Go ahead and do his thing. Let him do his thing and show what he can do. Yeah, I'm going for Johnny Beck. Fuck with gear. He hasn't done enough for me to... Uh, for me to honor him. So, so pop, pop, pop. And now he's calling out Golovkin after he already got supposedly a fight with Canelo. So, you know, screw him. Okay. Well, you have it. Pops, pops never shy about his words, you know. But, um, yeah, that's the news. Uh, the WBO has ordered a WBO interim title fight between Johnny Beck and... Um, between Johnny Beck and uh, Munguia. So, it should be a good fight. What I'll say is this, too, guys. Uh, one thing you guys want, also want to pay attention to... Um, Andre worked out. Demetrius Andre worked out a deal with the WBO where he can keep the 160 belt, the the, the, the belt, and he can go to 168 and fight for the interim up there. If he loses to Zach Parker, um, if he loses to Zach Parker, the winner of this fight could be elevated to champion. If he loses to Zach Parker, if if Andre wins against Zach Parker, he will have the option to defend against the winner of this fight. So hypothetically speaking. You know, because a lot of the Munguia fans and a lot of the Mexican fans that want to defend him on this, you know, when they come to my comment section, they say, oh, well, he wasn't he wasn't formally ordered to be the mandatory. Well, if he beats Andrade's WBO mandatory, he is then thus in turn the mandatory. So um, if, if Munguia does what he's supposed to do or what people think he should do against Johnny Beck and Andre does what he does, what he, what he can against Parker. It's not out of the realm of possibility that the WBO could order Andrade versus Munguia, but so there's a lot of moving parts at 160 and 168, and we'll be covering it all here on True School Sports. But on that note, guys, you guys take the time to like the video, subscribe, and like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for watching another video on True School Sports, the home of boxing. If you made it this far, do me a favor and do yourself a damn favor. Hit that subscribe button, and surely you will not be disappointed. You know, True School Sports bringing you the latest and greatest, the untouchable, you know, boxing content, interviews, news videos, breakdowns, live fight reaction extravaganza. We've got a great community of, of people here, boxing fans all over the world from America to the UK to Australia and on and on and on. So join the empire today. Hit that subscribe button. Take care and God.